Hey guys, how are we? Uh, I'm gonna share a, um, a photo that I took the other day. Um, I was out and about and uh, I got out of my truck and I heard the Lord tell me, I mean, confirm with me, turn around, take a picture of the sun. I mean, it was, it was, it, it, I could not, you know, he was leading me to do it. So I did, I turned around, put my camera towards the sun and what I caught to the right of the sun I just saw the picture because it 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 went from my memory and I I've been I went you know about my day but what I caught was a massive planet a red planet to the right of the sun here in the southeast and a little blue moon right in the center of it like you know like dead center and I'm telling you right now when I just saw the picture I didn't feel any fear I, I just knew that the Lord was speaking to me. I knew that he, the Father in heaven was speaking to me. And I don't know what this confirms for anyone that sees this video, but things are moving so quickly here on earth. And the, the day to repent and turn to our Messiah, turn from your turn from everything that, that you know, turn to him, lean in up in your faith, lean in on him. That time is today. Today, just a couple of days ago, before I even took this picture, I was in worshiping the Father um, the other night. It was, you know, like a little bit past midnight, maybe. Uh, the Spirit uh, literally picked me up and then sat me down. And I was bowed before the Father. I was crying out to Him, you know, Father, have mercy on the lost you know, have patience with this world, Father, because they don't, we, we're like lost. There's so many lost out there that literally don't know which way they go because they are not, they have no faith in the true kingdom, in the Messiah. They have no faith in the Father in heaven. They don't understand that this world is just a fleeting glimpse of what is to come. It's a test. And, but because they're so wrapped up in the world, they don't even know which way they go. They have no rudder. They, they have no, they've ignored that calling that they've had their whole life. And they've, instead of go, running to the Father in heaven, they've run deeper into the world looking for pleasure or to escape. When the true love, what you truly need is to turn towards the one who made you, the one who died to save you. And look, I, I'm going to be talking about repentance and on my channel because I, I, after I, the other night in prayer and then seeing this picture I took, it, it kind of, you know, I got that feeling in my spirit like, okay, Sean, you know, if anything you've done on your channel, which I've done nothing for me, I, I, I get nothing. I mean, the, the, what I get in return is having new brothers and sisters I can fellowship with that I love. But the main purpose was that if an atheist, someone who doesn't believe sees a video, someone who is lacking in faith, not walking uh, their, in their relationship with the Lord, walking with him, then they would turn back to him. And I'm telling you, time is short. I, this world is going to pass away and it's going to pass away. It's going to pass away so quickly because the glory of the father and of the son, okay? No sin can be in the presence of it. So if they, if he was to step foot on earth right now, the, I'm, I believe whoever is not in him, secure in him through faith, through repentance, you know, I, I believe that just dissolve, just be destroyed. That is how incredible and awesome his glory is. And the world's going to be caught off guard. They're going to be caught off guard. They are covering up these things in the heaven. In this picture, which I'll share, I'm going to put it as the thumbnail of this video. That is my picture. I have the rights to it. Feel free to share it. Feel free. To, I, I never ask people to share my videos because... It's not about me. It is about his kingdom. The almighty Elohim, the first, the creator's kingdom, and the son whom he sent to die for us so that we would not 
be cast into outer darkness for eternity so we could make it back home with him. But feel free to share uh, the picture or whatever. It was taken um, a day and a half ago in, uh, in the southeast. I'll put it that way. And look, guys, you know, I had a dream two years ago about a huge planet in the sky. It looked like, now that I look back, it looked like Jupiter. And there was a red and a blue moon on each side. And in the background, I, I get, I get a, a really um, burning sensation just all over my body thinking like a, you know, like a, not an anxious, but excited feeling. Also like a finality, a feeling of finality. But in this dream, in the background, there was this high-tech airport in these ships taking off by the dozens, just up into the clouds, zoom. And I've spent years praying about this dream. And the more that I pray about it and think, I, I believe that represented the rapture. You know, I believe that represented the rapture in the background with these things in the heavens. And what you'll see in this picture is exactly, it, it's, it's all three. There's actually three. You'll see three different planetary celestial objects. So you see a big red one, a smaller kind of gray, and then a really small blue one or greenish kind. It's very, guys, but it's there. If you have the eyes to see, you'll see it. And, uh, you know, I love all of you. I, guys, you know, I, I'm just going to be focused on repentance. On any message that the Father leads me to do. He told me to take that picture and I know that I met, when I just saw it 15 minutes ago, I, I just was going through my phone. Something led me to go through my phone. And then I saw, I said, oh my gosh, I took that, why? And then I, and the father was like, you better, you know, you took that for a reason. That's why I'm on here. Share it with whoever you can. Uh, time is short, guys. Look, this world is not what we think. This world, for all extensive purposes, outside the training of men and women, and, you know, for when, when the most time, when he said, cursed is the ground for your sake, there's two things going on. If we were, if the ground was not cursed here, we would, we would just be completely oblivious to the Father's kingdom if everything was perfect here. You have to understand, he does everything for the betterment, even the words, even the scriptures are used for correction, for the betterment and correction of people. Same thing with the earth and everything that's going on, all the evil. I mean, he, the Father is letting people see that evil's real the devil has a kingdom. He's real. Satan is real. He's not some myth. He has his angels. He has his people that are his children that follow him. It's, it's the real thing. And now is the time to turn back to the Father and to the Messiah. I love you guys. Um, you know, I just know time is so short. You know, I can feel it. I can feel it. Time is so short. And, um, Anyone that, that sees this, you know, I pray peace and, and, and blessings over you and your family. But I'm telling you, the spiritual warfare is off the chains. Uh, last message I shared, um, past couple nights I've woken up early, you know, and, and uh, in prayer. So I love you guys. Um, I'll see you soon. If not, I'll, hopefully, I mean, I, I'll see you at home. But if, if you don't see a message from me and I, I see, you, see you at home, look, I'm praying for everybody. Okay, because too many things are adding up now. Too many things just, just there, I don't believe in coincidence. I don't believe in any coincidence at all in this world. I think that that's, there's no such thing as that. You know, I think everything has been laid out by the Father, carefully handcrafted. And I know that to be true. So, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of in awe right now. But, uh, I love you guys. We'll talk soon.